Right, Jamie, first day, something you've done many times before. Yeah. Do, you, do you look forward to the first day of pre season training, getting back into it? Um, yeah, I suppose it's quite good, especially at a new club. You, you get to meet everyone. Um, so sort of you're settling in, period, I suppose. So, um, yeah, it's okay. You know, pre season's never been my, my strongest sort of point or best, best bit about football, but, um, you know, it's needed and, you know, it's sort of the start of uh, your preparation for the season. So, yeah. um, all good. And you keep yourself ticking over, I imagine, throughout the the summer months although they go very quickly they do yeah I mean I've tended to do more as I've got older just purely as um, I, I learned that I used to do nothing come back and struggle and, and sort of the more you do in the off season the easier it becomes so I've tended to do more um, sort of now than I did when I was a kid and you know pre-season then becomes a bit easier yeah so you've been in and met everyone and I mean most of them will know you anyway and you've yeah. played, played with and against many of them before so yeah when you get to my age you've sort of played against most, most players so um, yeah I've, I, I've met a few of the boys now seems happy normal sort of banter going on so, uh, yeah it'd be nice just to get going now I suppose and, and everyone really just wants this sort of period out of the way and, and, and get the season sort of off and running but um, yeah I'm sure we'll have fun for the next sort of five weeks yeah okay we'll keep a few questions here about your career in general and, and a bit of life away from football what, what's the what's the best and worst thing about pre-season training um, the worst is just the running basically straightforward you know, the amount of running you do, I suppose, isn't isn't great, <laughs> but yeah. it's needed. Um, the best thing, I suppose, again, is, is it's a preparation to get you ready for the season. So, um, you know, we know it's needed. So, like I said before, I've, I've gone through stages of sort of coming in with, you know, not fit and struggling. I think once you get a good pre-season under your belt, I've tended to have a um, better season. Yeah, do you always look forward to that first game? Because it's you've got just over a week, a week and a half, really, to the first game. Yeah, right? I think that's when you, you know pre-season is sort of, getting going and, and whatnot once you start playing games and, and you know you're normally playing in pre-season sort of twice a week um, so yeah if you can get the first 10 days out of the way um, and you start the first game you tend to think right you've sort of broke the back of pre-season and it's a case then of getting match fitness and, and getting used to your teammates um, and obviously formations and, and, and whatever else so yeah I think once you get to that first game you, you feel you've achieved something yep. okay what, what would you say is the best moment most memorable moment of your career so far blimey um, there's been a few I suppose my debut would, would be a massive one um, scoring my first goal um, and then probably my promotions I've had um, Reading would probably be the most memorable one because I, I, I scored the goal which sort of basically secured it um, yeah. but there's been a, been a lot but I'd say as in an, an actual occasion in a day it would probably be Reading it was the last day of the season we needed to, to draw or win to go up and Brentford needed to, to win to go up and we managed to get a draw and um, everything sort of was on the line on that day and um, we achieved what we needed to achieve and, and uh, it was a, a very memorable occasion. Yeah. Who did you make your debut against for Norwich? Um, I come on as a sub against Everton right. at home um, and scored my first goal against Chelsea. Right. Okay. And um, what would you say is the lowest point of your career? Um, I suppose losing in a playoff final um, for Reading against Walsall. Yeah. Um, it was my first year at Reading. I think I'd scored 30 goals. It was the season had gone perfect, really. We, we, we struggled at the end of the season and had to go in via the playoffs. And we played at the Millennium. Um, I scored the opening goal. I think we then went 2 1 up in extra time and thought, you know, we're okay. And we ended up losing 3 2 um, to Walsall. Um, and just that again, that, that one occasion where everything's built up, you know, for, for one, one promotion or, or you don't. And um, to fail um, just in the final whistle, I just. I suppose sunk to my knees and just led on the floor for about 10 minutes um, realising right we've got to start again and, and go through all this again so that was probably my lowest point yeah okay um, you, we have spent about what your favourite goal is the one for Reading and that took you up but what do you think is the best goal of your career oh god um, I, mean, I don't know it's hard to say I suppose there's I've scored a lot of sort of long range goals and stuff um, volleys and, and what not um, but probably what I would say one of, one of my favourites and technically was my, my goal against Ipswich for Norwich uh, in my, my debut season in the Premier League um, I think it was on Sky I, I got put, put through rounded the goalie and, and scored from a real tight angle and again that was you know my start of my career and um, I think when I look at the goal it was technically probably quite good I scored from a real tight angle um, yep. so I'd probably put, put that one in as, as maybe one of my in best in the derby as well yeah so exactly it was nice. so it was always good yeah who, who do you think is the best player in the world in your position? Um, blimey. Yeah. It's probably, uh, I suppose, I don't know if they play my position, but I suppose Ronaldo or Messi really, um, they tend to play it and, and play other positions as well. But um, I think between the, the two of them, you, you, um, you know, 
that they battle out all, all the time I suppose I'm, I'm a Man U fan so I would probably say Ronaldo right <laughs> okay uh, which team do you support as a boy Man United always been yeah. a United fan yeah I mean I was I, I was brought up on Bristol Rovers um, they were my local team I lived sort of five minutes from the ground so they were, they were the first actual ground I went to first ever game I watched was Bristol Rovers um, so that's my, my sort of home team that, that's who I support but um, I've always as a kid for some reason supported Man United what? Okay. who was your boyhood hero it was Brian Robson um, again being a Man U fan he was like uh, I don't know just the main player for some reason so I've always um, he was sort of the, the player that I, I, I sort of followed I suppose at that point point. Um, and then I, I used to like Brazilian football so I was Zico and people like that so I'm yep. sure I'm amazing now <laughs> <laughs> um, what would you say is the best and worst grounds that you've played at in your career um, I mean uh, I didn't play at it I was sub against Inter Milan so I would say that was probably as in a stadium and just the horror of the place yep. um, I didn't come on so I was a bit gutted but I was sub in a, in a UEFA Cup match for Norwich yep. so I would say that's as in the best ground I've been a part of actually being involved in as in playing probably maybe the Millennium or, or Old Trafford I would say yeah um, the worst oh god played at some bad ones um, I mean it's hard to say I don't think Accrington was too great. That's, that's the first time I played in League Two last yeah. year. Um, that wasn't too great. I mean, it was okay, but um, I suppose as you drop down levels, yeah. the stadium gets worse. So that was probably off the top of my head. I wouldn't say it's it's bad, but it's, yeah. it's probably one of my worst. Yeah. Pretty basic. Yeah. Um, if you weren't a footballer, what do you think you'd be doing career-wise? Do um, you ever thought about it? Because I know you've always been yeah, in football. Yeah, I have. I've been in trouble. Um, I was never great at school. Um, I was a bit of a wayward child and luckily I had football um, I was in trouble a lot um, so yeah I, I, I don't know I, I could be in, in a lot of trouble <laughs> if so I'm football honest. sort of kept you on the straight and narrow didn't yeah it? in a way I, was, I wasn't a great child I suppose um, I was quite naughty the school wasn't great um, and I just had football luckily I was given a talent and thankfully I you know did enough to, to achieve something but um, yeah if I didn't have that uh, yeah there's no end what I could have been doing now I, I have no idea to be honest so it's, a, it's a good job I had it. Yeah. and you're quite keen to stay in coaching do you want to go into coaching management yeah, I, yeah I was chatting to Stevie Elliott on the way up today he's obviously doing his badges and I've had a load of people pester me now about doing them um, saying that you know the amount of time I've been in the game that you know really I should be at least doing something so um, I'm going to start doing them now um, I do like media as well uh, I like doing radio and TV so it's something I'd, I'd maybe look to do um, but it, within football, it, I, I'll definitely stay. I have to. Like I said, I've got no other qualifications outside yep. of it, and you know I've been in the game over 20 years. I think I can, you know, offer a fair bit back. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's your favourite sport apart from football? Um, I mean, it's, it's hard. I, I follow all sports really. Um, I suppose I haven't really got a favourite one. Um, I like American sports, I like basketball and stuff. Um, I've just taken up golf. Right. For the first time, so I've played about six rounds, so I'm sort of getting into that. I like Any boxing. Good? I'm um, no, I'm okay. It's a typical sort of beginner. Some rounds are good, some are poor. So yeah. I need to um, sort of keep that going. Um, I like boxing and stuff, but in general, no. I, all my whole life revolves around football. It's quite weird. Um, so that's all I sort of do. Um, yeah. But I'm still a typical kid. I play computer, um, champ man, football games and yeah. that stuff. So yeah, as, as old as I am, I still still act like a kid. So, right. So. Okay. Um. What's your dream car? Um, Do you like cars? Or? Yeah, I love yeah. them, yeah. Um, I've lost a lot of money on them, so uh, <laughs> I suppose dream car. I've always fancied a, a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. Um, yeah. I've had a fair few cars in my time, so um, I shouldn't really talk about them because my, my wife would kill me because we have, I, well, I have wasted a hell of a lot of money on them, but I still love them, so yeah, yeah I'd say I haven't had one of them. So we have, What have you got been. at the moment? Nothing at the moment. There you go. What? I've been in. I've got rid of everything for now, and uh, I'm just about to maybe get an Audi. So we've um, sort of come full circle. I've, I've gone from stupid cars and, and down. So uh, yeah, I, I'd take a Lamborghini or Ferrari at the moment. Okay. Favorite holiday destination? Ah, oh, blimey. Um, I'd say maybe Mexico. We, we, we've been there quite a lot as a family. Um, I got, we got married there as well two years ago. So. Um, We've spent a lot of time there. I mean, we, I, I do like my holidays and I like to travel different places. Um, I suppose I've, I've spent a lot of time recently in Mexico and yep. really enjoyed it.
Okay, um, last couple. Who's your favourite band or artist, musical artist? Um, oh, I haven't really got them. I'm into hip hop and, and R&B, but I haven't got a, a, a so-called favourite. Um, I'm, no, I, I like whatever's sort of out and whatever's new, really. Yeah. Um, okay. But I'm, I'm quite old school as well. I like a lot of older sort of R&B and hip hop as well. So. Right. Uh, apart from your wife, who would uh, your dream date be? God blame me. She asked me this quite a lot. I <laughs> never really got an answer. Um, I don't know. I don't. I, I haven't really got a, 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 an actual favourite that I that one that stands out. Um, so no, I, I off the top of my head, I couldn't really say because right. I'd end up saying someone and then think well, later on, oh, probably someone better. So I, I, I don't know. I I say haven't really got a natural firm favourite there's okay. probably quite a few I'd, I'd <laughs> like to take out <laughs> <laughs> um, and final question Jamie where, where will Cheltenham Town finish this season? hopefully with promotion that's that's the aim for me myself and I'm not sure for the rest of the boys and the staff um, whether that be the top three or, or you know playoffs um, yep. and promotion that way um, but I mean that's that's the plan I think you know I think we've got a good squad and I'm sure the manager's going to add a few more and um, you know I really Feel deep down, that's why sort of reason why I come in that we can, you know, get out of this division. Yeah, brilliant. Cheers, Jay.